This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Hard work helps dreams come true for the Valley West 11 to 12 year old Little League All-Stars and information on new music and shows from a local singer-songwriter next. Welcome everyone and thank you for your time. I'm Ken Kara, and let's get to the information. If you think the Sandlot is the most fun you've had watching kids play baseball in the summer, you've never seen the Valley West 11 to 12 year old Little League All-Stars from Cunningham. On Tuesday, they won the Section 6 Championship 6 to 1 over Warwick. With the win, they move on to the state tournament at their home field at Whispering Willows Park. Our intern Christian Smith was at the game against Warwick and spoke with Caleb Apollo Ponick, who got the win on the mound for Valley West. Aponic was relieved by Mason Eckert, who you'll also hear from. Plus, we have interviews with Jack Esposito, who had a nice offensive night, and head coach Josh Esposito. You pitched lights out today. Great job. Walk us through how you did it. I went in there trying to throw strikes, trying to hit my spots. I knew I had my defense behind me. I knew that I was going to make plays. My teammates were going to make plays. I was very confident in everyone. So how does it feel to be moving on to the state tournament and you guys will be playing it in your own stadium? It feels great to be in the state tournament. We were there as 9-10s. Hopefully we could, uh, we do really great in that. And I love that it's gonna be at our home field with our home fans. Two RBIs today in the win for you. Um, you big part of the win, two of the six runs. Um, talk to us about how you were able to go up there and, and just be relaxed and be yourself and help your team win. Confidence. Uh, coaches helped a lot of that. I've been struggling with that the past few games. Um, on two strikes, I move closer to the plate, so if they throw me an outside pitch, I could take it the other way. So now you guys move on to the state tournament. It'll be in your very own stadium. Talk to us about how that feels. It's an honor. It feels very well, very good to play at our own stadium. Played at States two years ago and it was it was harder to play because it wasn't at our own field. Came in tough spot, you know, you guys were ahead 4-1 um, I believe when you came in, maybe even 3-1 um, and you went out there, no pressure at all, you shut them down. Talk to us about how you did it. I just went up the pitch and threw the ball like I would if I just started the game. So now you guys move on to the state tournament, you guys are hosting it. Um, Talk to us about how that feels to be playing at such, at such a high level at um, your very own stadium. Well, it feels really good. We got, we got to make it all the way back to our home field, and now we'll just take it one game at a time to hopefully win it. Talk to us about your guys' effort and how they played today. Today and the last two games have been um, the, uh, the, the most team effort that they've given together. Um, they deserve it and uh, couldn't be happier that we're going home. In really close games and you kind of pull away towards the end, you want to talk about how you guys do that and like, you know, whether or not, you know, you guys really are a second half team? Yeah, it, it seems to be in, in sections here. We've definitely started off a little slow, um, you know, sizing up the pitcher. Um, defense is, is always behind us, but it takes us a couple innings um, through sections here to, uh, like I said, size them up and then, you know, take them for, for a little ride. Now you guys are moving on to the state tournament at your very own stadium. Talk to us about how it feels and uh, what's next for this team. Well, you can finally think about it because we're there. Yes. We're going to just keep the same approach as we have the past two um, tournaments. One game at a time. Be ready and uh, we'll see what happens. You can see Valley West in action at the Pennsylvania 11 to 12 year old Little League All-Star Tournament that gets underway in just three days at Whispering Willows Park in Cunningham. Today's countdown is brought to you by the Brass Buckle Mexican Restaurant. Hit a home run just across the street from Whispering Willows Park. Ken Pollock Ford, the most important option on your next vehicle is your dealership. Make that dealership Ken Pollock Ford, your number one most trusted dealer. Boyer's Food Market, shop fast and save money. Over 6,000 items on sale every day. Valvelo Law, series injured in a car accident? Call us. And All Care Home Care. Your loved ones deserve the very best. For excellent home health care, call 570-459-3002. Singer-songwriter Rosa Strosky has been coming on the show since she was eight years old to promote her music. She's now 16 and still singing, and she's excited to be performing live once again. Here's Lisa Sugar with today's news feature with Rose. So COVID did interrupt the schedule of all your touring and that, but you told me that gave you time to do something else. So what were you doing when you weren't able to be touring? 
I have been planning some more shows coming up soon. Some really, some really fun ones. I actually have a very exciting announcement coming soon too, but it's secret for now. But I've been writing a lot lately with all the COVID thing. It's, it's given me a lot of time to write more. So I'm coming out with my original this year, maybe even an EP, maybe possibly. But um, yeah, it's it's very excited. I'm very excited for everybody to see what I have coming up soon. On July 24th, you're going to be at a craft show at Pepper Jack Crafts in Drums. That is a Saturday from one to three. It's their Christmas in July celebration. So you're going to be performing there. You're also going to be at the Berwick Summer Concert Series at the Jackson Mansion in Berwick. And that is uh, from 7 to 9 p.m. on Thursday, July 29th. Tell us, you're going to be a senior in high school. So what lies ahead for Rose Ostrowski? Uh, I'm sure music has something to do with your future plans. For sure. Obviously, I'm going to keep coming out with my own music and my own stuff. I'm going to keep doing shows all throughout, but I also want to go to college and I want to do something with music, most likely a music teacher. I've been looking into some different schools and different things, so I'm very excited for that too and I'm looking forward to it. And I know you're going to be announcing you're adding tomorrow's tour. And uh, What is it, the seventh year you told me this is going to be coming up? That is, that's insane. It blows my mind how long I've been doing this. It really does. This is wonderful. And you have been raising a lot of money for cystic fibrosis. So how much have you raised over the years? Over 5,000, maybe, maybe a little over just in the last few years, like just for Sia. That, that's insane. I, I love what I do. For those who are not familiar with your beautiful voice, we would like to do, as we've done in the past before, I'd like to end with uh, a little bit of a performance from you. Today's news feature is brought to you by Feisner's Ford and Freeland, who is celebrating 75 years in business. Give them a call at 570-636-3920, or you can log on to FeisnersFord.com. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service on Thursday, mostly sunny with a high in the 70s. Thursday night, mostly clear with a low in the 50s. Friday, a slight chance of showers after 2 p.m., sunny with a high in the 70s. Friday night, mostly clear with a low in the 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny with a high near 80 degrees. Saturday night, a chance of showers, mostly cloudy with a low in the 60s. Sunday, showers likely and a possible thunderstorm, partly sunny with a high near 80 degrees. And Sunday night, showers likely and a possible thunderstorm, partly cloudy with a low in the 60s. The weather is brought to you by Valley High Food Drive-In in West Hazleton. They're open Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. These hours may vary as they work on staffing for the summer, so call ahead or check them out on Facebook. Coming up, our community feature with Community Services for Sight and Sports at the Standard Speaker Athlete of the Week Awards. As SPTV News, I'd like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of Martin Androsky, age 60, of Kingston. Anyone with next to kin information is asked to call the Luzerne County's Coroner's Office at 570-825-1664. Today's social obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.